what is up youtube my name is adit and welcome back to my channel the indian algo so i've recently uploaded the so called smart money concepts and uh i definitely have getting a lot of messages that why you are against smc uh see i'm not against smc but the concept of i'll just give you a very simple explanation of first of all what i do in this channel because people are, are like why are you teaching smc if you are not following smc first of all i am not teaching smc neither i am teaching ict concepts or see i am aware of few things obviously i was never a student of ict so i don't know the complete in depth concepts of what he does but i obviously know few of the things that he teaches few of the things that uh i have developed myself or like created a system for myself so those are the things i am teaching here and you all know like you all i have been receiving your comments and you have been liking it so it's not about the fact that i am teaching somebody else's concepts okay so uh, no one ever pointed out to me as well that you are teaching somebody else's concepts so but that's not the case what i'm trying to say here is let's say ict brings out something in the market he brings out order blocks he brings out liquidity voids he brings out a lot of stuff okay a lot of stuff now he brings out stuff that runs on algorithm okay that runs on algorithm he knows most of the thing related to how the market algorithm works and the so called smc traders are teaching you these concepts are teaching you these concepts in the name of what ict teaches okay so that's a complete different thing ict do not teach this that's just the basic of ict right these guys the sorry these guys are telling you this but actually teaching simple basic thing okay so that's not how the market works as per ict now what smc traders are probably going to do is simply make you mark okay i'll tell you their strategy all right i'll tell you their strategy i'll tell you their strategy they will ask you to draw order blocks one second i'll use it okay i'll use this because i don't want to waste time in drawing much things so let's say this is an order block tell me if these guys teach anything apart from this you get a liquidity hunt right you get a liquidity hunt this is an order block that's created price comes here price goes like does something like this break structure pull back short at this pull back look at this order block this is the maximum they are teaching right they are not teaching anything else they are not teaching you the market structure they are like their market structure is very basic this is not the market structure that you are supposed to follow that it's very different and this is where a lot of people with get stuck because not every order block that these guys are teaching you is going to work again a lot of people would uh, go against this for uh, taking out this concept but yeah let's see let's proceed further so today we'll be discussing about wyckoff wyckoff accumulation so today we'll be only discussing about wyckoff accumulation and we'll be looking at the charts uh, and understanding the wyckoff accumulation and then in probably the second video i'll explain your distribution all right so what is wyckoff accumulation now if you guys are not aware of who wyckoff is wyckoff is somebody wyckoff is somebody who richard wyckoff yeah so richard wyckoff is somebody who developed these concepts 130 years back and this is how the market very likely works however ict is against this ict clearly knows the market runs on an algorithm but yes wyckoff was very close to understanding of how the market schematic works based on that algorithm right so it's very likely the same thing of what ict teaches and uh, what wyckoff uh, uh wyckoff uh, showed in his schematic but yes ict is more precise with time time ict knows when to enter when to exit these trades all right where the prices are all of that shit now let's try to understand what wyckoff accumulation how this schematic is formed now let's say let's say there is this thing the price distributed here there is a selling around this area price falls lower price falls lower let's try to understand this guys price is falling lower now see 
uh, we have to understand the psychology behind all of this we have to uh, sorry about that we have to understand the psychology behind all of this right how the prices are falling so the prices are falling like this but understand that 90 percent of the traders 90 percent of the traders are not in this move 90 percent of the traders are not in this move so where will they likely want to get in and first of all who is selling this obviously institutions so now the 90% of the traders would want to get in somewhere here, entry somewhere here, okay. So when they are trying to enter here, what will happen? See, this is the fall that the institution created. This is where the prices are. And if you'll see that there will be a little pullback to the upside, little pullback to the upside. This is what, uh, this is what you call preliminary support, okay. This is what you call PS, PS, prelim, uh, preliminary support. This is where the institutions are booking a little bit of their profits and the prices then falls lower with huge momentum, widespread candles. This is what you call selling climax. And why is this a selling climax? Because this is created, this is created by the retailers or, the or any other institutions who thought they missed the move. So the FOMO traders will enter right here. This is what a lot of people also do. Former traders will enter right here and you will see the prices spike down very widespread candles with very widespread candles and this is where the end of this move will occur. The end of the downtrend will occur and this is what you call selling climax SC. Now the prices will move higher. Okay. The prices will move higher as a result of this downfall institutions will obviously book their profits around this area because they already know that there is some sort of demand level at this particular point so what they'll do is they will book their profits here so it is an automatic reaction of this downfall so you will see this most of the time and this is what you call automatic rally it's called ar so i'll write it down for you automatic rally all right so this is an automatic rally now try to understand when you're trying to identify wyckoff accumulation you're not doing anything here you're not doing anything here okay so uh, in the strategy that we recently discussed we are trading pullbacks right we are waiting for the prices to come back our one hour or daily time frame zones right and this is where we try to understand the fall and when the prices are ready to move higher okay so we are not trading this we are not trading this we are not trading this we'll try to enter some way here so this video is going to be very useful for you all so make sure guys you watch it completely now the price goes back for an automatic rally comes back lower some way here now it will create what the prices are here so obviously it is accumulating if this is an accumulation at a demand area what the price will do the prices will create fake orders or fake orders as in like fake support so that people who are buying here can put their stop loss sell orders here sell orders here sell orders here and the prices can come back lower hunt these orders execute their buy orders because this is sell orders all these are sell orders so that they can buy from these sellers and then the prices will start moving higher so this is the schematic that we are trying to understand okay so now automatic rally the price falls lower creates st this is what you call secondary test i'll simply write this as st so all this is not your buying opportunity all this is not your buying opportunity what the prices are doing they are creating small demands small supply the supply small demands small demands around this area small supplies around this area so you have to wait for the prices to probably test all these demand and supply zones and then you will see that the prices will hunt all these lows equal lows see there is a reason for the prices to come to a demand zone this is the reason the prices are here to hunt these orders so that they can execute their orders right so this is what you call spring okay this is what you call spring now now uh keep this in mind guys i'm just trying to explain you the wyckoff schematics in the first part of this video 
then we'll move to the distribution schematic and then i'll make you understand when is the right time to enter these trades all right when is the right time to enter these trades so do not expect everything in the in, in a single video because you'll definitely get bored so the, i need to keep these videos around 15 20 minutes 25 minutes maximum guys okay so i hope this is clear to you all now what you're supposed to do is after you identified the spring identify the recent supply here okay identify the recent supply which is not tested identify the recent supply which is not tested if this is not tested obviously it's tested here this is not a fresh supply it's a supply because of this all right so that's completely fine you can ignore that but this is the supply that you need the prices to break and once it breaks wait for a pullback the prices will start start showing you momentum okay and then we will understand how to enter these trades probably above this level and how to do that we'll obviously have a look at it but in the coming sessions now you understood right what a spring is you will see a huge fall the price will move higher breaking this supply right here and this is what you call sos sign of strength this is what you call sos it's a sign of strength the prices then will pull back it could pull back okay it could pull back it's not necessary that it will pull back it will pull back till this area where you will see another demand zone being created okay so that will be your last point of support lps last point of support and once this all is done once you identify all of this the prices will start taking a move higher and we need to understand when is the right time to buy the stock when there is going to be least resistance in the path right like least resistance in the score in the stock okay so icd also teaches this as its model and this is where the wyckoff will also uh, this is how the wyckoff also works okay so this way you will see a good dis uh, accumulation base forming up and you will probably get your entries here or here or it could be anywhere here as well all right so i hope this wyckoff accumulation is clear now i'll show this to you first of all on daily time frame on reliance all right let's go to reliance and i have already explained this in one of my previous videos but i'll talk about this in much detail all right in this video now try to understand this uh, because in the previous video i had already discussed that reliance is gonna take out all time highs very soon uh it's it's one of the videos where i have discussed about bitcoin but yeah let's understand the reason you can watch that video i will let i'll let me just open that video for you all the title and you can definitely have a look at it. this is that video wyckoff analysis in indian stock market 202 views three months ago understand why why bitcoin crashed so i'll let's see if i can open let's see if i can yeah so if you see this this is reliance india one day chart before june right before june and yes this is where we were expecting see this now there was one mistake definitely in this video that i made and uh, i'll explain it to you this is where i was i should have expected a pullback but that's completely fine eventually this is where i was supposed to buy and my stop loss is supposed to be here and look at the move that i have already predicted before june and now all this was because I was able to understand Wyckoff schematic. All right, so now let's go to the Reliance chart and let's try to understand the Wyckoff schematic here. All right, now first of all, let's try to identify the PS. So if you see this, this is the up move that's missed by a lot of tra uh, traders, right? And this is where these guys are booking their profits, and this is where all the retailers enter. Spike up look at these candles i'm talking about these candles look at these candles look at these candles these are all spiked up by the retailers in the because they thought that this could be uh a, a, a this could be like they missed the move and also if you see this is a flag pattern for them such a nice pattern right price spiked up comes back lower so this is what differentiates us from pattern traders and what we do uh all right so let's understand this so now this is going to be my ps this is going to be my ps this is going to be my buying climax all right now understand as the prices are falling lower okay so this is included in the 
in what you call in the distribution uh, schematic so we'll come back to that later let's try to understand the fall here so here if i zoom in one second here if i zoom in let's try to understand this fall okay let's try to understand this fall see where is the price taking support right at this order block right if you see this is the order block that created a new high and what i'm supposed to do is mark probably all of this and this is the 50 percent of that area yep so now we are trying to understand on daily time frame okay this is on daily time frame when could have been the best opportunities for us to enter these trades now if you see this is the fall the price takes a little pause right here so this is your ps this is your ps i'll simply write it down as ps slower the font if you see after ps there is this huge widespread candle that is your selling climax and that is your selling climax and after this the price moves higher this is your automatic rally for a lot of people this is market structure break but that's not the case so this is your automatic rally the price creates equal lows equal lows equal lows around these areas so what are these guys this is st right as we discussed this is st 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 the price dips lower below these lows below this low a little bit just a little bit but yes we'll have to consider this as a spring now this is our spring the price then breaks above this all right the price then breaks above these highs the last supply that i was talking about breaks above the supply this itself is a clarity that this is gonna be a bullish stock the price touches this sign of strength Sig uh, yeah sign of strength the price then pulls back as we discussed it pulls back to this area around this demand zone right there is some sort of demand zone that created this high so this is going to be my demand zone right somewhere here we'll have that order block makes sense guys i hope it, it's making sense to you all i know i cannot get your responses but yeah i hope it's making sense this is what we discussed you, you all can rewind the video the price comes back this is your last point of support this is your last point of support the prices takes out these supplies does a lot of stuff and this is where you have to start buying start buying around this area put your stop loss below the slow start buying yep and you know that the prices will spike up pretty high this was an understanding this is a very good understanding that i i had at this point of time right this point of time i was very clear that the price are very bullish the prices are very bullish okay the prices then comes back to this around this order block around this area touches this order block flies higher so it's just that you have to develop an understanding of when the prices can move higher now all you're supposed to do is wait for the price yeah i mean like it's very bullish uh reliance is very bullish if i get a little pullback around this area i'll start probably taking more trades around this okay and yes it can go till t uh, 3000 very easily because there's nothing to stop the prices now this was a very huge accumulation now if just understand if the accumulation is pretty huge like this why would the prices simply come back and there is a reason right they have been they are inside this range for a very huge time and they can expect just expect huge prices in reliance do not invest on what i am saying here guys it's very important all right now what i want you guys to do is i don't want to jump this on one minute time frame as of now just just try to develop an understanding of how things work on daily time frame use this particular technique to at least start taking swing trades you guys are you guys have a lot of misleading information that you simply have to take intraday trades to be a successful trader you will only be able to catch intraday trades and make how much make uh eventually end up making five to ten percent a month that's it you it's very tough for anybody to make 20 30 40 percent a month so eventually you can make the same amount using swing trading as well five percent ten percent a month which is huge just focus on these few things guys all right so yes uh there's something that i wanted to discuss this is a wyckoff accumulation schematic use this use this order block together with all of this and then i will be explaining the same thing i will be explaining the same thing on lower time frame but at a very different way 
on in a different way as in when will you consider the markets to be bullish which lows to be taken out and which previous day high should be taken out when that previous day high is taken out when the prices are bullish all of that stuff is something we will be discussing and it's very important guys so i'll be revealing something very nice in the next video and i'll be uploading that video right away tomorrow itself today is 17th right so i'll upload it tomorrow 18th and then i'll also upload one video on 19th as well okay yep so you won't have to wait much guys so if you like the if you if you uh if you understand understood this thing these things very well guys just go ahead and like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel i see i've been uh, able to uh, definitely capture a lot of subscribers but yes uh, there's more to come guys there's more to come see you.